Hello everybody, welcome back. Today we are making a gingerbread man cake and uh, while it might look kind of basic, the flavoring is so good. It is so Christmassy and gingerbread-y and I actually did eat it for breakfast this morning. <laughs> so let's get started. So first we're going to make some homemade gingerbread spice mix. You want to combine some ground cinnamon, allspice, ginger, nutmeg, and cloves in a bowl. And I'll have all the ingredients and quantities listed in the description box down below. And then next we're going to prep some boozy berries. So you want to grab some dried cranberries and pour them into a bowl or a glass, whatever you have, with some Grand Marnier, which is orange flavored liqueur. And if you're making these for an audience where there are people who don't drink alcohol, you can just use orange juice instead of Grand Marnier. And cover with plastic wrap and refrigerate it until you're ready to use them. So I soaked mine for about one full day and they were quite potent. <laughs> so you can soak them for longer if you want them to be stronger or less if you don't want it to be in that alcoholic tasting. Then to bake the cake, you wanna place some flour, sugar, cocoa powder, baking powder, baking soda, gingerbread spice, and salt in a large bowl and mix together. Then add some milk, vegetable oil, some eggs, and vanilla extract, and mix with an electric mixer until combined. Slowly add some boiling water and mix until well combined. Then grease a gingerbread man cake pan uh, and dust it with some cocoa powder. And I'm using cocoa powder this time instead of flour because it will give a richer flavor to the cake, but you don't have to if you don't want it. You can just use regular flour. And I'll also link the cake pan in the description box down below. Then you want to pour the batter into the pan and bake at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 40 to 45 minutes or until a skewer inserted into the center comes out clean and then cool completely. To make the buttercream, you want to bake some butter with an electric mixer until it's pale and fluffy. Add some vanilla extract and again some more gingerbread spice mix and mix well. Add some confectioner sugar one cup at a time, beating with each addition. Place about one and a half cups of buttercream into a piping bag, fit it with a medium sized round piping tip, and then to the remaining buttercream, add some cocoa powder and brown food coloring and mix well. To assemble the cake, first you want to slice the cake into two layers and carefully remove the top layer and set it aside. So I'm using little cake boards here just because it's easier and I'll link them down below if you want to pick them up. Then you want to pipe about three quarters of the white buttercream onto the bottom layer of the cake. Use a cake spatula to smooth the frosting. Drain the cranberries and you can keep the Grand Marnier for cocktails or for later use because it will taste a little bit like cranberries. And then just scatter the cranberries onto the white buttercream along with some dollops of ginger jam. Place the remaining cake layer on top and cover the entire cake in a thick, generous layer of brown buttercream. Pipe a border, a face, squiggly lines, and buttons onto the gingerbread man with the remaining white buttercream. Then stick peppermint candies onto the buttons and you are done. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope that you like this recipe. Also, if you've been admiring my shirt in the intro, this is part of my new merch. It says Chardonnay and there is a horse and it is drinking some Chardonnay. Uh, so I will link it in the cards here and down below. There's also a ton of other designs and if you guys are wanting anything else, um, let me know and like I can design it for you because Teespring is super easy that way. So if there's like, if you want this, but like you want a different pun or you want like a panda bear drinking red wine. Let me know and I'll make it happen. Anyways, um, yeah, so if you're in the States and you order before December 20th, it will arrive in time for Christmas and I have a 10% off code because I love you guys. So everything is down below in the description box. But anyways, I love you all so much and I will see you guys tomorrow for an all new video. Bye.